just along the Mississippi River here, on the other side of the levee where all of these homes are, sits a little gym. This back here is a Civil War relic that just happens to be nestled here amongst the residential neighborhood and homes and stuff. In 1862, the Confederates laid out Camp Parapet as part of the Civil War defense lines in New Orleans. Eventually, the Union took it over and trained the Union soldiers here as well. I want to see if I can get closer to it and take a look at it. It's just at the end of this dead-end street. I wonder if any of the people that live here even realize the history that's at the end of their street. The remains of the old powder magazine is part of a Civil War fortification that extended from the river northward about one and three quarters miles past Metairie Road. So this, this whole area was the camp parapet. And this structure is really the only thing that remains from the entire camp. I mean, Civil War soldiers were trained here, both Confederate and Union. Alright, let's walk on through. Gotta duck my head, it's kinda low in here. On the wall is this plaque, it's on the National Register of Historic Places as of 1977. It's not very big on the inside. It's a little stuffy in here, a little musty. There's cannonballs on the floor and some old barrels. I'm sure they're not from that period of time. I'm sure they're, they've been placed here just for decoration. see the old bricks of the structure through here. That's pretty cool. One of the barrels sitting on the floor. I guess it's to represent the explosives maybe? I'm not sure. Can't really read what that says. Some more cannonballs tucked away behind the old rusty door here. Looking up you can see the ventilation shaft that pokes out the top of the dirt mound. It looks like it's blocked with debris. 